Hello friends, this is Roxanne, and today, I'm going to recap the 11th part of the anime called, Spy X Family. At Y's safe house G, Sylvia is briefing Fiona Frost on Lloyd Forger's mission next week. Sylvia is assigning Fiona to the mission as well, as per Fiona's proposal to make it a joint operation. Sylvia instructs Fiona to inform Lloyd of this development and to work out the plan together, warning Fiona to ensure it does not get in the way of Operation Strix. Fiona is silent for a few moments and asks about the progress of Operation Strix. Sylvia replies that it is proceeding slowly, but Operation Strix was intended to be a long-term operation. Fiona apologizes that she could have done more for the operation in the wife role if she had been available earlier. She wonders if she could stand in as the wife if it is not too late. Sylvia rejects her, saying that changing wives now would draw scrutiny from Eden Academy and that the forgers are in good standing with their neighbors so they are keeping the family as is. Fiona then mutters that there would be no choice if the wife were to abandon the role. Sylvia warns Fiona not to be plotting something as Fiona leaves. As Fiona walks through the hallway, otherwise agents draw away from Fiona, thinking Fiona is trying to steal Lloyd's operation to make a name for herself. Fiona is referred to as ruthless, arrogant, and icy due to her single-minded focus and stone face. At the forger's apartment, your reflects on the terrible breakfast she made in the morning. The doorbell rings, and your opens the door to see Fiona, who introduces herself as Lloyd's co-worker. Your apologizes and explains that Lloyd and Anya took Bond for a walk. Fiona's thoughts reveal that she is aware of Lloyd's absence and was waiting for your to be alone. Fiona claims she came to return a magnifying glass Anya left at the hospital. Your thanks Fiona and invites her in. Both Fiona and your sit on the couch, and Fiona sips a hot drink. Your admires Fiona's beauty in amazement. Fiona assumes your thinks she is Lloyd's lover while complimenting their home. Fiona is determined to remove your from Operation Strix and usurp her wife role. Fiona tries to look for an opening, but Yuri is nervous as they have never had guests besides Frankie and Yuri. Fiona decides to make your leave of her own will as it would be risky to remove her directly. Fiona brings up Anya, asking if Yuri does not tire of having to raise a child in an attempt to pressure her into giving up her role of wife. However, Yuri does not think so and says she and Anya have a lot of fun together. Your wishes she was good at more things to make it easier for Lloyd. Fiona agrees and begins to claim that Lloyd frequently complains about your at work but is interrupted by the return of Lloyd, Anya and Bond. Anya loudly announces their arrival home as she, Lloyd and Bond return. Lloyd is surprised to see Fiona and asks what she is doing there. Fiona greets Lloyd as your explains that Fiona came by to return the magnifying glass. Lloyd assumes something urgent must have come up and explains that they returned early, as it looked like it was about to rain. As Lloyd and Fiona hold a conversation, they mouth different words to communicate secretly. Fiona states that she is here to assess the state of Operation Strix, and Anya is shocked to discover that Fiona is also a spy. Fiona asks Lloyd if walking Bond is an essential part of this operation and why it was not your doing the errands instead. Seeing his talents being wasted on playing house, she suggests they review his operational tactics, but Lloyd tells her it is not her place. Anya wonders if she is a bad guy when she sees her fight with Lloyd. However, Anya reads her mind and learns that Fiona is deeply in love with Lloyd. Fiona believes she would provide far superior domestic and operational support. Imagining Lloyd praising her abilities and deciding to marry her instead as your runs away crying. As Lloyd and Fiona stare at each other and Anya is left stunned, Yur decides to make coffee for all of them. It has begun to rain outside, while boiling water for the coffee. Yur recalls Fiona's previous words about Lloyd's complaints and imagines Lloyd deciding to report her to the authorities and marrying Fiona instead. Yur feels she cannot blame him if he feels that way. She serves cocoa to Anya and coffee to Lloyd, giving him a jar of milk. Fiona thinks you must be incompetent as Lloyd takes his coffee black, but Lloyd pours the milk into his coffee to reduce the damage to his stomach. Fiona bites her thumbnail at the thought of Lloyd showing a side she does not know to your, then assumes it is part of his character as Lloyd Forger. Amused by Fiona's thoughts, Anya accidentally drops her cup of cocoa on the table. Your quickly wipes off any hot cocoa on Anya in concern. 
Fiona thinks you should have scolded and trained her in place of Twilight to raise a strong daughter. Fiona then imagines training Anya by a strict minute-by-minute -minute schedule to maximize her knowledge and strength and transform her into a Stella Star procurement machine. Anya is scared by this and decides she cannot let Fiona become her mother. As Fiona is about to ask Lloyd to consider replacing Yor, Anya begins clinging to Yor and calls her the best mother in the whole world for wiping up her cocoa. Fiona tries to appeal to Anya by offering imported cocoa, but Anya hisses at her angrily. Yor is moved by Anya's words and tells Lloyd that she is going to try harder for the family. Lloyd smiles and tells Yor that she works hard enough as Anya cares a lot about Yor. Yor tears up and says she will be a better wife. Fiona has a flashback of when Lloyd was training her as a spy, telling her to never show her true feelings. Having observed his many disguises, she detects that his smile is at least genuine and clenches her fists. Fiona says she forgot to buy potatoes and prepares to leave. Lloyd comments that Fiona forgot her umbrella and decides to walk Fiona to the station. Lloyd runs after Fiona with her umbrella. Fiona tells Lloyd she has been assigned to partner with him on the next mission. As she turns towards Lloyd with a sad expression, she is grateful for the rain for hiding her emotions. Fiona informs Lloyd that she will contact him with details at the hospital. She resolves to show how capable she is in the hopes that Lloyd will realize she is the only one fit to be his wife, and walks away without her umbrella. Anya and Bond are watching the cartoon bear squad when Lloyd calls her for bedtime. Anya continues to watch. And right when the penguin character gets killed, Lloyd grabs Anya and takes her to bed. She requests to sleep with her penguin plush tonight and goes to sleep while hugging it. Outside of the door, Bond glares at the penguin. Anya wakes up the next morning to find her penguin ripped apart. Lloyd points out that the damages are bite and claw marks. So Anya looks at Bond. Bond looks away, but she reads his mind and hears jealous thoughts directed at her penguin. She yells at Bond that she hates him, which puts him in despair. Yur says she will fix up Anya's penguin, but she ends up ripping it up more. To Anya's dismay, Lloyd tells Anya that he will buy her a new one, but she exclaims that she wants to keep the one she has as the penguin was gifted by him, causing him to blush slightly. He concedes and tells her to finish her breakfast and then study while he fixes up the penguin. While he fixes up the penguin, Bond looks for something in the kitchen, and Anya cries as she studies. Lloyd finishes his work and presents the mended penguin, which looks like Frankenstein's monster to Anya. Bond walks into the room holding a bag of peanuts in his mouth as an apology. Anya decides to forgive Bond, so he and the penguin shake on a peace treaty. And this brings the anime to an end. Comment for part 12. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.